long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny. And now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. On 15th of August 1947, the day was all bright as our country came awake, free from the British might. The journey of countless struggles and sacrifices ended with India's freedom from all crises. The nation and its movement became history. The flying tricolour signifying our victory. Through the years, we celebrate the day with pomp and gay and salute our great leaders who showed us the way. 74 years, a long time spent with the nation scripting a success story every day. India's unrealized dreams waiting to take off. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and my dear children. We have all come together today to celebrate our Independence Day. It is an absolute honor to stand here and welcome you all to the virtual celebration of our 75th Independence Day. This day is indeed the most auspicious day in the history of our nation. Because on this day, India broke away from the shackles of the British rule and gained its freedom after decades of struggle. So let's celebrate our glorious past and vow to build an even better future. The most important and special part of the celebration is a flag hoisting ceremony. I am profusely overjoyed to take the opportunity to introduce our chief guest of today's event, who is none other than our beloved teacher, Mrs. Neeta Talwar. She is a first teacher who retired on 1st January 2021 from Father Ragnall Multipurpose School and Junior College, Ambarnath. Madam Antoinette, our school administrator, escorts teacher to the flag post to commemorate the flag hoisting event and salute the flag followed by the national anthem. चेले को सलामी देंगे सलामी के एक दो जनगणना बना दिलायत जय हे भारत भाग विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा ग्रामीण उत्पल बंगा बिंद हिमाचल यमुना बंगा उच्छल जल गीतरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तब जय गाथा जनगण मंगल गायक जय हे भारत भाग विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे our regional superior, Most Reverend Father Elmida, has a message for us. Good morning, dear students, teachers, parents, grandparents, and all those who are with us this morning. On behalf of the Agnal family, I extend our warm greetings for, to you all on a special day when we usher in the 75th year of India independence. Our first Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru has said, time is not measured by the passing of years but by what one does, what one feels and what one achieves. I invite you to join me in this introspective journey. This morning as we hosted the Indian tricolor and sang our national anthem with pride and joy in our hearts, 
we had one more feeling, the feeling of immense gratitude towards all those selfless leaders who struggled and sacrificed for many decades to win us deep independence. We also felt grateful for the fact that we belong to this amazing country, which is home to some of the world's most ancient civilizations, a country that constantly reminds us that our diversity cannot keep us apart, for we have an underlying spirit of unity. Seventy-four years have passed since India woke up to freedom and what we see today is a country that is perceived by the world as an emerging superpower, having the ignited mind of the youth as our most powerful resource. We have come a long way in every sphere and our potential is immense. The numerous Indian scientists, doctors, nurses, theos, writers, artists and other professionals placed all over the world are making a difference wherever they are. Recently, India finished 48th on the medal tally in Tokyo, the highest ranking in over four decades. Every Indian living anywhere in the world identified with the feeling and overpowered our sportsmen and women who are represented India at the Olympic in the troubled time of the COVID pandemic. Each one of them did his or her very best. Our men's hockey team proved their mettle by winning an Olympic medal for India after 41 years. Our women's team did, did not win a medal, but they played a winner's game and left us off track. To add to this, our medal winners, Neera Chopra, Mirabai Chanu, Ravi Daya, P.V. Sindhu, Ravina Morgan and Bajran Punia did the whole country proud with their outstanding performance. Therefore, we can rightfully say that independent India has seen many sweeping changes for the better, but within the country, we are still trapped in huge socio-economic, political and environmental problems. It is a matter of great concern. There is a dire need to tackle divisive forces who are harmful to the interests of the country. Explaining the, many, the meaning of a true freedom, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru has written, Freedom is a matter of the mind and heart. And if the mind narrows itself and is befogged and the heart is full of bitterness and hatred, then freedom is absent. As the world today struggles to cope with forces of terrorism, the spreading COVID pandemic and the intensifying impact of global climate change, we seem to be adding to our problems. We seem to be moving away from our freedom fighters' vision for India. They dreamt of a country at peace with itself. We are more than 1.3 billion people from a great nation and we are capable of realizing that dream. As Mahatma Gandhi has said, no nation is perfect. It needs to be made perfect and in a gentle way one can even shake the world. Taking inspiration from this positive message of the father of the nation, let us make a strong decision today to value our nation and never forget the sacrifices made by those who won us our freedom and democracy. Let us become responsible citizens and do our bit to save planet Earth. Let us think of peace and work for it sincerely and tenaciously. Let us safeguard, nurture 
and empower youth to value-based education and exemplary leadership. Let us renew our faith in the Almighty and resolve to dedicate ourselves to build that heaven of freedom that our great poet Rabindranath Tagore described. Let us give our India her rightful place in the world. Jai Hind, may God bless our country. Father, it's always a pleasure listening to your words of wisdom. Patriotism is instilled in children and not taught. That's what our little children from the pre-primary section are here to display. A very good morning to one and all present you. Today we celebrate our 75th Independence Day. On this auspicious occasion, I wish each one of you a very happy Independence Day. I am Rachel Wilson Kunder and I am being given the privilege to speak about the state. A plane is always safe on the ground, but it is not made for that. Always take some meaning for this in life to achieve great heights. These are the words of our freedom fighter, Chandrasekhar Azad. If we look at the depth of these words, we will surely understand the magnificence of its meaning. In this are the guidance of our leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Lok Manitilak, Shubhash Chandra Bose, and many other freedom fighters fought to free our country from the foreign rule. And now we are free, free to grow and free to learn to become strong, to take our own decisions and to enjoy the rights of citizenship. We as the citizens of India should surely bask in the glory of independence, but we should also treasure this freedom that we have received. We should work our ways in which this independence can remain with us. India is a land where numerous very brains have made contributions in the field of science and technology and announced its position around the globe. India is the second largest group of scientists and engineers in the world. In the context of technological advancements and scientific achievements, India belongs to the select group of countries who have developed indigenous nuclear technology. India has the capability to launch JSLB satellites. India's achievements in the field of IT and software are recognized all over the world. Scientific research is conducted in India by Indian citizens has transformed the way the world works. From healing and eradicating diseases to understanding the world. The whole of last year, we were fighting against the COVID pandemic seriously. Our health workers were at the forefront risking their lives for others. Normally, it takes many years to make a vaccine. But in a short span of time, not one but two vaccines were made in India. This shows that the country is a capable country. At the Tokyo Olympics, we have won a gold medal for javelin, silver for weightlifting, and bronze for badminton. We soon, Mila Bai Janu, have made the Indians proud of their achievements. Our dear India is growing and is progressing everywhere. 
we are making a good foundation in healthcare and education. India is getting better, but it is not enough. We, the children of future India, must pledge to work together to make it a golden bus. And it was Jai Hind. Brimming with enthusiasm, watch another batch of our pre-primary children dance to the beats of a medley of patriotic songs. Pum, pum, pum. Ye desh hai veer javano kaal belo ka mastano ka is desh ka yaro Is desh ka yaro kya kehna ye desh hai dunia ka kehna Pum, pum, pum समझो दिल भर जानी जितना भी तुम समझोगे उतनी होगी हैरानी फिर भी दिल है हिंदुस्तानी 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 मेरा रंग दे बसंती चोला रंग दे रंग दे इस मिट्टी से तिलक करो ये धरती है बलिदान की बंदे मातरम बंदे मातरम बंदे मातरम बंदे मातरम देश रंगीला रंगीला देश मेरा रंगीला देश रंगीला रंगीला देश मेरा रंगीला बंदा ऊंचा रहे हमारा विजय विश्व हर हिंदुस्तानी आने वाले संकटों का मुस्कुराकर सामना करेगा एक दिन भारत ऊंचाइयों पर विराजमान होगा भारत पर कोई संकट आए कोई आ जाए कोई बुरी नजर उठाकर देखे तो हर एक नौजवान सीना ताने 
ऊंची दीवार की तरह सामना करने के लिए तैयार है हमारे दिल में जुनून है जो अंगारों की तरह आंखों से दहकता है खौफ में रहना हमें आता नहीं खौफ में रहना हमें आता नहीं मुसीबतों से डरना हमें पसंद नहीं क्योंकि इस भूमि के हर एक माँ के आंसू हमें आशीष देते हुए कहते हैं विजयी भव
Let's give our children a thunderous applause for their brilliant performances. With this, we come to the end of our Independence Day celebration. Thank you for being a part of the virtual celebration. Jai Hind!